Hey, this is TerraToots with a quick tutorial on animating clouds in Terragen 4. We'll be covering Terragen's Easy Cloud Animation, which will allow you to create animations like this. We're going to be starting out in this scene here, which is just a modification of one of the preset scenes that comes with Terragen. And for clouds, we're going to be spending most of our time in the Atmosphere tab. I'm also going to switch over to the Ray Trace Preview. As discussed in other videos, Terragen has a variety of cloud presets that are meant to mimic different types of real clouds. For now, we'll go ahead and add a small cumulus layer. We want a few more clouds than that, so let's go ahead and increase the coverage up to 1.5. That's better. A good starting point for clouds in Terragen is to click the random seed button a few times until you find something you like, but I think this will do for now. In the sidebar, I'm going to go to the animation tab within our cloud layer. Here we can see a few different settings for easy cloud animations. There are more advanced ways to produce a cloud animation effect in Terragen, but this is the most straightforward. Today we'll be using two parameters, drift and evolution. Drift controls the movement of the entire group of clouds across the scene. You can think of this as a steady wind blowing the whole cloud bank at once. Let's enable drift and set it a little bit higher, say 100 meters per second. You can also change the drift heading, which controls the direction the clouds will move. The evolution parameter controls how the shape of the clouds will change over time. To make the effect easier to see, let's double the evolution speed. There are a few different evolution methods, each of which will produce a little bit different change in the cloud shape. We'll stick with the default for now. Now if we go to our animation panel, we can start to see what our cloud animation is going to look like. We can compare the starting frame to the ending frame, and see that our clouds are indeed moving from one instant to the next. From here, just render out your animation as normal, and soon your clouds will be billowing across the sky.